everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am participating in the Wednesday Sign Challenge. It's hosted monthly by the girls at the Coisi and the co host this month is Crafty Lini. Uh, I will leave the link in the description box below to both channels and the playlist with all the videos entered in this challenge. Please pay a visit and watch the videos. Thank you in advance. Of course, I'm going to make a sign. Um, I'm going to use this arrow that's from Dollar Tree. I've removed the twine that comes here because I'm going to glue it to my sign. I painted it mixing white and black uh, acrylic paint and then I kind of dry brushed it with this acrylic paint that is pouring, is for pouring, and is here, here you have it, ready mixed pouring paint, <coughs> sorry, and it's pearled, it's metallic white, so it gives it kind of a very nice touch. We found this in the dumpster, so I hope you know already, my daughter and I are dumpster divers, so we find a lot of things there that we use I use in my crafts. Our channel is Dumpster Chicks. It's going to be linked in the description box also. If you want to play a visit, pay a visit, sorry, we will be very thankful. Okay, I'm going to write on this the word dreams. I always tell you that the best thing is to use white transfer paper when you are transferring something to a dark surface that you are going to paint in white later because you get your image, word in this case, already in white. So I draw it, the word dreams, and I'm going to transfer it So here you have it. I'm going to fill in all the letters with a white marker, but I'm going to do this off camera. So let me show you the rest of the, the sign. And this here, away from the frame. For my sign, I had this piece that this is left over from a wall paneling that you have probably seen as a background on my videos so I cut a part of it to the size I needed and I got this piece which is going to be my sign I wanted to paint the words follow your then dreams but this surface can't accept any kind of marker and I suffer from essential tremors as you can see so I can't paint them with paint so I had to use stickers I'm using these stickers that are from Dollar Tree I bought them I don't know like five six years ago and um, they are not exactly the kind of font font I wanted but I have no, no other options. I've already started, I marked the middle of the space between the side of the, the, the arrow and then I started adding the letters. So I'm going to finish doing this and then I have my um, words adhered. I'm going to add the arrow and I'm going to use hot glue but also a bit of E6000 
just in case. Here and there, a few dots of, of E6000. And now I'm going to add the arrow. This is the center, so here it goes. As you can see, this is a very, very easy thing <coughs> to do, <coughs> sorry, to make. If you have whatever kind of wood or an old sign that you can uh, paint in white and dry brush with um, uh, gray or black to pretend this wood, it would work perfectly. And these arrows are almost always a dollar tree. It's one of the few things that you find frequently. Then I'm going to add some twine in the back to be able to hang it. So, I think I need another stick. Yes, here we go. I'm going to add a very generous amount of hot glue to make sure this is not going to get unglued and then I will find my sign on the floor. <laughs> so let's see this here and on this other side I do the same. I like to place some hot glue under the twine and then the twine on top and then sorry I'm covering it with my hand but I'm kind of going over the twine to fix it or affix it to the side. Okay I'm going to let this dry and in the meantime I'm going to uh, work on the word dreams of camera but I also mean in <laughs> while this dries I also want to show you other signs that I worked on this week that I'm not going to make the tutorial because it's really easy but I wanted you to see this I'm looking for inspirational and encouraging <laughs> um, sayings um, so I found this one that I love, be stronger than your stronger excuse. And I had this piece of wood that my daughter gave me once that she was not using. So I spray painted it white with Rustoleum flat white and I painted with black marker the sentiment that I printed on bedding paper and I transfer and that's another thing that I always tell you that is great. You go on the back with a pencil, on the back of the words, and then as this is translucent, if you are transferring it and by chance you move it a little bit, you can see where you were and go on without having anything out of place. Something that doesn't happen if you use regular paper. So then I adhered this to a piece of foam board and uh, now I have my, my sign. The other thing I made was I had this frame that is also from the dumpster. It had the glass but I didn't need it. It was broken here and I don't something over here. Let me turn it to oh here. It was broken oh, I see here and here. So I glued it with E6000 and reinforced it with a little bit of wood from a popsicle stick as you can see. And then I use um um, a piece of uh, 
<laughs> self-adhesive kind of contact paper, chalkboard contact paper, and I transfer again using white transfer paper the sentiment. I read this on the it was a poster on the wall of the office where I got my my vaccine and I loved it. I think it's perfect. So I transferred it and I made this sign and uh, it was just a very simple, easy and it, I think it looks gorgeous. So well, now I'm going to work on the word dreams and I'll be back. Here they are, my signs for this challenge. Hope you like them and if so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not a subscriber already and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Please visit the hostess's channels and watch the videos in the playlist and if you can also visit our Dumb Surviving channel. Thank you so much to the hostesses, thank you so much to all of you for watching my video. Hope to see you in my next one and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye.